Hello beautiful spirits, my name is Donna. Welcome to the channel. This love reading is followed immediately by a list of your person's favorite things. And this is advice for you shining through. So we have the number 30, the Trinity shining through is the advice. We also have willing release, okay. And we have seeing beyond, seeing beyond, using your third eye to see beyond the everyday mundane aspects of your love life. So when we look at the overall energy that you and your person are bringing into the reading, we see self-imposed restriction, Gemini energy. When we see the crows flying around and this person is in this sort of um, holding back, it looks like both of you at this point in time are holding back in the relationship because of some conflict. So when we get the energy uh, that's going on between both of you right in the recent past is both of you are looking at your relationship from a different perspective. The current energy is that both of you are very optimistic right now. You're feeling very much like your person, your significant other is a person that you would like to be with. They do represent to you the best person that you've really had a relationship with. That is Aquarius energy. We have Pisces energy and Gemini energy. When we look at the star card, we're really looking at hopes and dreams for love coming true. It's a card that indicates that spiritual growth has occurred, that there's an inner beauty to your love as well as a, a spiritual um, energy to your love as well as an earthly energy. The way your person sees the path forward with you is the Capricorn Queen, the Queen of Pentacles. They feel as though both of you need to nurture one another. You both need to be very stable. You both need to contribute. You know, it really speaks to the fact that your person sees you also as an ideal partner in life. The way they view you, when they think about you, when they see you, they see you as a person. Taurus, this is your energy. You see that energy in your person of your values reflected back to you. It's a very powerful card because the seven of coins is like a, a checkup. Both of you are in this mode or this energy, but especially your partner, Taurus, is in this energy of really thinking about the relationship and what they want to have with you. So when we see how they feel in their heart space, they feel this very lovely, wild abandon. They feel free with you. They feel that they can be themselves with you. They definitely want a new beginning, a new positive beginning with you in which there's more fun, less, less worry about other things. We do see the energy that your person feels as though you need the two of you to collaborate to move forward in this relationship very much again doing the work capricorn energy what's hidden between the two of you is this incredibly beautiful love relationship look at that energy two people hugging each other children playing in the background really feeling as though both of you when things are good they couldn't possibly be better Spirit is saying this is a divine connection. You are soulmates. Spirit is suggesting that you learn to get over whatever difficulties or work through them. You know, really loving each other at a very deep core is going to be important to your happiness in life. The Five of Swords speaks to the fact that there are some troublesome aspects of the relationship. The Eight of Swords being sort of the underlying issue and the Five of Swords speaks to the fact that swords are communication. Air signs are communication typically with words. It looks as though sometimes you speak to, to each other. You either hold back on what you say or you actually say things that can be construed as painful to the other person. You're both doing it, even though you both love each other tremendously. So we're going to jump in with the clarifiers and see how we can help you because this relationship is very vital and very important to both of you. And I feel as though what we're seeing is here is this sort of need to release, release holding back, and release saying things under pressure or duress that could hurt your other, you know, your person. 
It's also seeing beyond the mundane friction of life, seeing past the mundane issues so that you really can have a breakthrough. You know, it's really shining through, allowing this beautiful love to shine through past, you know, this energy. This one's hidden. The love for the two of you that you have for each other is hidden far more than some conflict or so it seems. So let's jump in here and see what, what we can do to help you with the situation. And again, we will finish off with the um, Tarot of the Abyss to see what your person really likes best about you. So the Eight of Swords, what is it that makes both of you hold back or feel that you have to hold back? What is this energy and why is it here? So we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so I think both of you really work. You work hard. It looks like you're both very project-oriented. You're very focused on things to do, places to go, people to see. So sometimes I feel as though you don't speak you don't talk things through. The King of Swords energy is all about being very intellectual, but also very aloof. So the energy of also with the Seven of Wands is that you have a tendency to put each other on the defense. So that is something that the two of you need to let go. You need to stay in this more grounded energy, Virgo energy, being very practical about the relationship. Because the minute the King of Swords comes in, you know, we it words start to cut. You know, the intellect is so easy. It's just easy to stay in your head and not to be in a more feeling level or more practical level. So what we have for the hanged man, ooh, clarifiers for the hanged man are, hold on one second, they dropped on the floor. We have the four of cups. Okay, so when the two of you are sitting around and you get bored, it has a tendency to create, to create you questioning the relationship. So the one thing I would say is even the ocean goes to low tide every day. The Four of Cups is actually being in a very comfortable spot, and it is sort of taking for granted your blessings. And what we see here is a Princess of Cups, small acts of kindness, small acts of love will help you come out of this sort of bored state that the two of you have a tendency to get into. And then because one of you doesn't speak about love, the other doesn't. And I feel as though you get caught up in that energy of, you know, that eight of swords. Well, they didn't tell me they loved me or I didn't tell them that I loved them. So, you know, it's just an energy. It's nothing. I don't see anything very serious here that you, you don't have a handle on in this relationship. It looks like if you want to be successful, the two of you can be very successful in this love. The Princess of Pentacles, be grounded, be down to earth, you know, be like children playing a little bit is what I'm seeing. The page, you know, Princess of Pentacles is someone who's, you know, lively, talkative, very bright. It's a nice, shiny sort of energy. And bringing that to the table is going to help both of you a great deal. Let's see why we have the energy here also of Let's see the star card. Tell us more about the star card, please, Spirit. What do we have here for the star card? We have the seven of coins. So we have the seven of coins also, you know, over here. We have the eight of coins, excuse me. So the seven of coins says that both of you are looking at your relationship and weighing and measuring and judging. And I would just say invest and let it go. Because when you invest and let it go, good things happen. We have this beautiful, beautiful energy of a deep feeling of love, of security, of happiness, of joy. So the Queen of Pentacles is here and the King of Wands is here to clarify with great enthusiasm, with great pride, with very diligent effort to make the right things happen. It looks like your person has a plan. I like it. I call it the man with a plan whenever I get a king, especially the fiery King of Wands because it speaks to the great passion your person has for you and the deep love and nurturing that they want to give you. The King of Wands can be Leo energy. That is typically the Leo King. But it speaks to a person for you, Taurus, that needs to have some attention. Fire, fire likes, 
you know, fire likes air and fire likes words. So I would say that for you, um, Taurus, that your that your energy would be very in the relationship would be very much improved if you're not shy about saying how you feel about your person. It looks like that would be really helpful to the relationship. The Queen of Swords energy does tell me with the King of Wands that sometimes. You know, you have a tendency, again, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, to be in that intellectual space instead of the heart space. So what, what do we have here? Why does the Seven of Pentacles show up? Taurus, for how your person views you. Okay. Aha. Okay. So Seven of Coins, Eight of Coins now. So we have the Eight of Coins here. So your person sometimes thinks that you're too focused on money. They think you're too focused on perhaps judging or weighing the relationship, or they feel sometimes like you're constantly looking at your return on investment. So Spirit is saying, let that go, you know, be appreciative, show gratitude, and things will progress beautifully in the relationship. We have the Fool card here in your person's heart space, and we have the Death card. So it's an interesting concept. It looks like the two of you at some point in the recent past had a disagreement in which you're trying to put aside and we see a new beginning after uh, a transformation. So that's all about the letting go. It's about seeing yourselves through this new beginning. So it does look like this relationship has been, you know, around a while. It's very mature. It's very loving. Um, but we definitely see that a new beginning is sought, a transformation in the relationship, Pluto energy. You know, the death card is uh, Scorpio energy. So it really speaks to the fact that both of you, are, and especially your person, wants to, to have a really rebuild the relationship sort of from the ground up. The three of coins. Oh, temperance card. Beautiful energy. So Taurus, we have reconciliation between you and a love interest after what appears to have been a difficult or challenging time. I don't think you had a breakup, but I think you may have come close to it. When we have the Ten of Cups, why do we have the Ten of Cups here for you, Taurus? Beautiful energy. We have the Six of Cups. You are truly soulmates. The Six of Cups is usually someone that you've known quite a while. Your best friends, your lovers, you know, we see the energy that the two of you really want to return to that place of comfort and happiness. And it's clarified also by the Chariot card moving very swiftly in the direction of really being one another's security blanket, lover, you know, best friend. But your relationship is very powerful. And it's just really a tune-up to get back in touch with those positive feelings. The Two of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Wands. So what we're seeing here is even within the confines or even within the parameters of this beautiful Two of Cups and feeling very much um, you're very devoted to each other, you're very... Uh, you're very um, supportive of each other. The Two of Cups also, you know, it's a bride and groom card in the Rider Waite, people taking their vows, and it is a soulmate card, as is the Six of Cups. When we get the Chariot card with the Knight of Wands, what it's saying is, even if you're an old married couple, you need to keep the excitement in your life, date each other, don't take one another for granted. You know, be very aware that you can have that excitement in your relationship at any stage, not just the early stages. So there is a desire that both of you have a little bit to conquer each other, you know, from a physical, delightful seduction standpoint. And isn't that lovely in any relationship? What do we have? Why is this Five of Swords here? This is a thorny, kind of unpleasant card, the Four of Swords. Both of you are healing from words that were said, things that were expressed that were very painful. That's what brought around the Death card. And it looks like the two of you are overcoming and nurturing this relationship very much. Um, not back to life, but I mean, I guess with the death card, we could say it that way, but back to happiness, back to remembering that 
This is not the predominant way the two of you feel. Every relationship, no matter what, has conflict. And if we don't recognize that, we start to think we have a bad relationship. Not the case. This is quite beautiful. So what we have here is the Queen of Pentacles here. Your person feels that the way back to each other is very much through nurturing the relationship. And that's your outcome card also. The Queen of Pentacles will have that nurturing ability to overcome anything that was said that hurt both of you. So I like this. It looks like a relationship that's being rebuilt. You know, we have to do that, right? We have to renovate relationships every now and then. We have to tune them up like we do anything else in our lives. So let's look and see. Taurus, what does your person like best about you? What does Taurus person like best about Taurus? All right. We have the energy of the high priestess Ooh, so taurus your person likes that you can be very discreet you can be a little bit mysterious they also feel as though you're very spiritually minded that you have you want to do the right thing you want to nurture you want to um, be kind and loving the high priestess is a keeper of secrets so it does say your person admires the fact that you can Keep to yourself, you can be very discreet. They like that quality about you. We have the lover's card. They absolutely love that you are their soulmate. They feel as though you're their perfect partner, the most perfect partner they've ever met. The two of pentacles, they like that you don't just make a decision quickly. You weigh and balance uh, the pros and cons of any decision you make before you make it. They like the, oh, the two of wands, good, that you take your time to make a decision. That when you're at a crossroads, you think over what you want to do very carefully. They also love the three of cups, that you are really fun. That when you go out on a date or when you're with a group of people, there's lots of joy, there's lots of laughter. They feel as though you are their best friend. We see the Knight of Swords. They love the fact that you have you are a master of words. That in any situation, if you needed to talk your way in or out of anything, you would be able to do it. You know how to approach and win at the game of life. And that your person truly loves that about you, Taurus. You have a sharp blade and a quick wit. And your person loves that. We have the Ace of Pentacles. They love the fact that you are very reliable, that when you make a promise, you live up to your promise. They love the fact that you are who you say you are, that you're very grounded, that they can count on you. The Knight of Cups, they love the fact that you are always uh, romantic, You know that you have the capacity to be very sweet, kind, loving, and um, you, know, you can make really sort of exciting plans to do things for them. We see the Two of Swords. So we also see that your person knows that you hold your tongue sometimes instead of involving yourself in conflict. And that is what they love about you best. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me if you like this, uh, the mention of what your person likes about you best at the end of the reading. Um, I'm so grateful for your views. Thank you so much and hope to see you again.